be the drink that puts you over the limit and breaks the law. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. Omaha police invited us to the training academy to see how the cops know exactly what to look for. Reporter Kelly Bartnick is live with an inside look. Kelly? Jenny, the police also asked for some help from prosecutors who try those DUI cases every day. Good. Go ahead and blink for me. We're going to do one more test. In a room filled with dozens of police recruits, I do not stop until you completed the test. Do you understand? The plainclothes people are the ones who hold the cards. One, two, Three. Douglas County Prosecutor Matt Cousy leads a team of volunteers here from the county attorney's office. 18, 13, 15, 1,000. All in various states of intoxication. I start counting where I left off. The recruits don't know Cousy's blood alcohol content. Tell me that. Okay. Okay. Only that three hours before this, you got a new one. he was here, Please do it, yeah. drinking with the others in a room at the training center. The pores were measured and recorded in this wet lab test. Detect impairment from someone that has either been under the influence of alcohol and or drugs because of some curriculum that we teach and determine whether or not somebody is able to operate a motor vehicle in a safe manner. Police Lieutenant Lori Scott says this is the culmination of 40 hours of field sobriety training. At the end of the night, recruits must decide if these subjects were over the legal driving limit. Not everyone will be. Would you say that that's rock and smooth? Yes, sure? it is. Definitely, right? We see what the officers have to go through in order in terms of how to learn how to do this, the skills that they have to develop in order to be able to testify to doing this kind of process. Two, for prosecutors, it's helpful in the terms of we understand what it means for someone to be at a .08 or a .15. I'd rather have that than this. By test time, Cousy's BAC was over the legal limit. He tested at .084 before walking in here. This DUI prosecutor likely knew that. Oh. And after deliberation and a lot of discussion, the recruits will learn it too. Thanks for being a good sport. Now, besides the free drinks, the volunteers also get a police escort home so no one is on the road after the testing. Today is the first day of two for the sobriety lab. In the news center tonight, Kelly Bartnick, Action 3 News.